morning guys, how are we doing? It's John here. Jack here as well. Right, so we've got nice uh, little delivery coming today uh, from a new brand that we've just started working with from uh, Reverend Guitars. Uh, Reverend has been on the, uh, on the radar for us for a little while now. And obviously when we had uh, Greg Cock in uh, last month doing a, a clinic at the shop, we really wanted to uh, uh, get the deal done and, and special agent Greg, I think managed to he seal pulled the deal some for strings, us. He pulled he? the strings and made it happen. So mm -hmm. and we finally got our first shipment of guitars. So, uh, and it's not a small one either, is it? No, no, we've so. got lots of different models to choose from and plus we've got loads more on back order as well, including the, uh, the Greg Cox signature model, the Gristle Master. I think that's what it's called, is that what it's called? I believe so, yeah. If not, yeah. it should be. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of these boxes. We've not even had a look at them yet. No. So we're just gonna uh, check them all out, see what's there and see what goodies we've got coming up. Oh, look, we've got one here already, already opened up. We're so, too efficient. I know. So the cool okay. thing with Reverend Guitars, they're, um, they're all set up at their facility in America, in Ohio. They're all, um, they're all made in Korea, but they get all the, um, all the final tweaks and setup stuff done all over there. Um, so what model is this one? So this is a double a, agent. Yeah, double agent OG. OG. So you've got a humbucker and a P90. You can see it's got a roasted maple neck, which most of the guitars do actually have. And uh, a lot of them have Carina bodies as well. But feel that jack, it's got a pretty nice weight to it. Yeah. So not really knowing much about their, their, their line. Because this is, this is like this a is learning experience for us as very well. Very much so. But this, is, this stands out compared to most electrics you see at the kind of price point they're at, I mm. think. For the start of seeing the roasted maple and the Carina combination, yeah. but also just the really interesting stuff going on pickup wise, and they're kind of kind of shooting into uh, left field a little bit. Yeah, with and, that, and a lot of their guitars have this, uh, like a bass roll off uh, control on there. So oh, with right. a guitar like this, you can like thin it out to kind of sound, make it sound a lot more like a, a telly, I, I guess. Yeah, well that's usable. Yeah. More so than a coil split sometimes. You, so that's nice. what, you, what you could, you know, with a lot, with a lot of like Korean guitars and a lot of guitars that are made in the Far East, they do have that kind of harder edged feel to them. But that that feels like um, it's almost got like the like the rolled edge of like a Sir or something like that without without fretwork on there. It's a big statement. It is a big statement, yeah. but it's true. Big frets as well. So, so that one is. It's going to be a comfortable player, versatile sounding guitar, locking tuners as well. So that guitar there uh, retails for £729. So it's a really good alternative if you're looking at the higher end Mexi Fenders or you can't quite get up to um, a USA uh, Fender. It's a really good option for that, yeah. 22 frets. And or you just want to have something a bit different, you know, you don't, you don't yeah, want to definitely. go down the traditional route. Locking tuners on there as well. Just uh, really, And it's really still nice kind of got the prestige of being a USA yeah. brand anyway, yeah, hasn't it? Absolutely. So. Very cool. We've got a great list of indoor seas, so yeah, very good, um, very good start. Let's march on with that. That's a, that's a good Thanks, start. Joel. So this is yeah right. So next up is an East Side S Pete Anderson model. Oh yeah. So I didn't know much about Reverend Guitars, but this was a model I was really excited yeah. to see. So I know we've got the S and the T models. So this is wow, the T. Check out, That's the dream hybrid right there, isn't it? Absolutely. So, yeah, on the surface anyway, kind of got S-style neck and middle pickups with a with a T-style bridge pickup and a trem as well. And I believe there's a few different colours that are all kind mm. of suitably so fancy. Satin finish on this. Yep. Wilkinson trem. Uh, roasted yeah. maple neck with pale ferro fingerboard. That's lovely. Looks great. They've got that same kind of smooth edge to the fingerboard as well. Yeah. Interesting to see. Um, what the switching is, whether it's more of like a Nashville type thing there, whether you get yeah, two pickups true. on, but we'll- And we've we'll got a push-pull there as well, so that could be, could be interesting. Mm. This is entirely new ground. Yeah, again, it's got the um, uh, roasted maple neck, like we said, and again, it shares that really nice feel on the fretwork. Yeah. But and their pickups access. sound great as well. Are they their own? Yeah. Their own pickups, mm. great. So, cool, that's Fantastic. that one. Good. Um, cool, so we're going to check out right. one of the bases now. So what model okay. is this? This is a, a Mercalli Mer Mer 4. Me a Mercalli 4. Come on, you can do this one, Jackie. Okay. Okay. 
Very cool. Unfortunately, we're not going to have many interesting things to say about the base, are we? But that is cool. That is. So you've got a uh, cool. P-Base style pickup there by the look of it, and then I guess that's more like a uh, hum cans in yeah, jazz bass kind of stack. Music stacked. man style kind yeah. of thing. Really nice neck. Yeah. It's got that same, it's quite a big neck, but quite shallow at the same time. Mm. I guess with the roasted maple necks as well, it's going to give it a pretty good solid tight punchy low end. Pretty chunky looking bridge there as well. Yeah. Let's say string. Yeah, it looks string like through. Through. Yeah, string yeah. through or a... Um, oh, is it a top loader as well? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I guess okay. it would be at the yeah. See Very there. nice. But we'll have demos of all the, these, um, all these different ones. The black knob does. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, that's a pan knob, so that must be a volume and a tone. And I'm going to guess that that's a pan knob. So, so but I guess. Very cool. In, nice in a few months' time, when we go back over the range on the next shipment, we'll we'll be on it. Yeah. We'll know everything. This will be embarrassing to look back at. Yeah. Headshot tuners as well, if nice not already. Addition. It's cool that they're sticking to the same formula kind of throughout the guitar and bass yeah. family. Decision P in burnt brick. Decision. Decision. Uh, okay. Yes, wicked. Amazing shapes, isn't it? Yeah. They're great just, you know, if you want to stand out from the crowd, have something a little bit different. Again, these, you know, the price points of these instruments, they, they just don't. They, they feel more, well, they just feel more like a high-end American custom shop brand. Yeah. And with the, with the wood choices and, I guess and the hardware. And the, the PJ very, configuration yeah, yeah. going on there. And just the colours, you know, it's nice to see they're doing something a little bit different and they're not just straight kind of um, fender rip-offs as well. Yeah. Nice. Cool. But it's good to see roasted maple being used on, on guitars at this price point as well because it's kind of a, a bit of a luxury spec that's only been seen on high-end sirs and but music was, mans and things like that. I was very surprised when, um, when Greg was here talking about his signature model, mm. just how cost-effective it actually is. Because it certainly doesn't feel, I and mean, it didn't sound anything like what no. you might expect. Oh, no. So this, and this is another double agent OG, but in Venetian gold of a power ferro fingerboard. Oh, that's awesome. That's just a sharp looking guitar. Yeah. Very cool. Again, yeah, same specs again, greener body, roasted neck, but this time with a power ferro fingerboard. But great job on the fret work, isn't it? It's just mm. super, super clean. Yep. Really nice and shiny. So and it seems as though we've got infinite variety of uh, color configurations yeah. and stuff like that to, to get through. Yeah. So. There we go. This is looking good underneath the covers. Yeah. Looking Charger 290. Right. So, is that your sales pitch? I'll charge you 290. I'll charge you 290. Plus that. That's terrible. Let's get a little bit more classic now then. Still got the tuning set up there. Oh yeah. yeah. So again, you could use that bass knob there. It'll probably get it to sound just like a a telly, I guess, mm -hmm. you roll a little bit of that off, you know, and you shape the um, tones quite a lot from there. They've all been a really nice, comfortable, lightweight mm. as well. Yeah, well they just, like you know, I keep saying, but they just don't feel like a, an Asian made, uh, you know, Far Eastern guitar, do they? They feel a lot more solid, a lot more like a, a higher end mm -hmm. guitar. And they look it. They look great. Right, so, Airwave 12. Okay, a bit of 12-string 12 12 action string, coming. Right? I think this is a set neck. This is the first, first guitar okay. that we've had that's, just, that's a, a so glue neck. Completely random order here yeah. as to what's coming out. Nice. That's a beast of a machine there. That's very cool. Nice. I'm not going to see if 12 strings in tune. Let's just come on. Very it good. Is. It is. That must, be, that must mean it's a good guitar. Yeah, that's that makes sense to me. Yeah, let's flip it around there so you can see the uh, neck join. Nice burst finish on the back of the neck there as well. That is very cool. And this Locking is tuners. filling a nice gap in the market yeah. as well. Isn't it? You don't yeah. see too many 12 strings. No, that's going to be all. a fairly huge sounding beast, I reckon. I reckon. With P90s on, I don't think we've we've ever had anything 12 string and P90s. No. It's normally a Gretsch type thing or yeah. or, uh, or a Ricky. Yeah, strat strat telly. Not the deal. 
So this is a Sensei Junior in natural with a power ferro fingerboard. Oh, okay, there you go. Very cool. This is a rolling Joel special. Mm. Set neck as well. That is a, let me check the price on that one as well. So we're we still with the kind of Carina body yeah. formula here. Really uh, light. What is the neck on it? That looks like it's Carina as well. I guess so. Uh, so that sells for 649. I mean, there's, there's awesome. nothing else like that on the market with that sort of spec, is there? That no. That I've seen. No. With a P90 as well, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, really Really fierce. comfortable weight. Yeah. What do you with think, that Joel? towel piece. Lock and tuners again. Mm. It's just the right formula throughout, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's another Sensei in here. Oh, a Sensei 290. This might be the, uh, the safety uh, safety net version for people oh, yeah. who can't live without a neck pickup, aka yeah. me. There we go. That's an interesting finish. Mm. What colour, what are they calling that? I think it's just... Uh, cream. Cream. <laughs> okay. It's not as interesting Imagine as the uh, title is cream, but you know, that is what it is. Again, really great fret work. Really nice uh, fingerboard on that as well. Very cool. That one's a little bit more money. So that one's uh, 729. Uh, pretty reasonable. Mm. Back into uh, back on another base Thunder line. Line. Yeah, Thunder Gun. Awesome. Noticed a few of them have that kind of raised um, yeah, center like block. Yeah, like fire birdie type sort yeah. of thing. There's definitely a bit of uh, inspiration in the guitars from from the uh, 50s and 60s designs, yeah. isn't there? But they've got their own thing going. But they're completely putting. Well, their you're going to know exactly. It. You know when you see someone play on stage with that exactly mm -hmm. what the brand is but look at the fretboard on that that's lovely check that out let's get that close very cool very good stuff <laughs> okay. east side of tea okay but again you can imagine the direction this might be going yeah. in. This is Pete Anderson one again. Sorry, made that really awkward. Yeah. There we go. I can't see, you know, where the inspiration's come from. That looks um, completely pretty new. fresh. Cool colour. Karina body again as well. Very nice. Twenty-two frets. Mm -hmm. Roasted neck. Again, so. Yeah. What do you say about that? Awesome. East side of T. Where are you? It's back up first. Seven nine nine. So same second guitar again, but in powder it? yellow. Okay. Yeah. Powder nice yellow. Yeah, like the binding on it as well. You yeah. Don't often get the solid colours apart from blacks and maybe fiesta reds with bindings on. Yeah. So that's quite nice. And that's cool, it's got an off-white as yeah. well. Very nice. Yeah, fretwork is fantastic. It's an interesting hybrid though, because they've got this vintage vibe going mm. for them, but they're very kind of contemporary in design and feature set as well with the lock and tune. I like and the stuff, headstock so. as well. It's hard to uh, change the fender headstock, put it on that sort of guitar and still make it look cool. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. 799, very good. Charger HB. In faded burst. Yay. Cool. And is it all their own pickups as yeah. well? Everything. Yeah. I think the only ones. Awesome. Um, I think it's the uh, the Greg Cox signature model is the only one that has those Fishman fish fluents in there. 
Yeah, awesome. He's nice. nice. I'm curious to see how all these pickups sound mm. and respond differently in the. That's the, what's nice, isn't it? You've got the same formula of wood and everything. It's just swapping out the electronics. Yeah. So that's. And again, I think that 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 base roll-off thing is going to be a really good feature. Yeah. Splits or anything. Well, I, I guess with that, that will probably do the same job as. Yeah. Kind of having I'm a split. Very keen to hear what this is about. Buckshot. Buckshot. I beg your pardon. Midnight Black uh, Roasted Maple. Okay. They've got some creative model names going on as well. I like that. You see through the, uh, there's some bit of uh, Gretchy type things oh, yeah. happening up at the, uh, the neck pickup Ooh. in there. Ooh, that's interesting. Direct mount, tele pickup. Yeah. Very cool. Torty guard, very nice. They've all got quite a raised string height for the mm. body as well, which I think that's going to suit kind of some players who maybe struggle with the typical kind of fender setup if you're constantly hitting engine yeah. pickups and stuff like that. Yeah. That's interesting. But I can tell like a load of people are going to end up buying these as, as like their, uh, you know, end up being like their spare, like their slide guitar or something like that, but become a lot more than that than just being like yeah, a... it warrants a, being a, yeah. a main. Yeah. East side T again. Uh, satin black. Satin. Yeah. 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 With the binding as well. Cool. Yeah. Pretty straight up. Bit of a Josh Smith mm. vibe to that one. Yeah, with the binding on there. Cool. And I guess these finishes are going to wear really well yeah. as well. Yeah. Rather than nice, nice satin finish rather than a thick poly yeah. super shiny feel you know obviously with the roasted maple necks there they must have a, a very light sealer coat or something like that on there because they mm. feel super slippery don't they yeah but i'd imagine acoustically they're all pretty resonant yeah because there's not too much going on with the no, finish, i'm so forward to hearing them a sensei junior but in midnight black so another one of those little junior styles chalky guard Very light. Yeah. Very, very light. Yes. That is just a great looking guitar, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say no more. S yeah, 649. It's a proper set neck. Bound fingerboards as well on those ones. It's going to be great. <laughs> We've got a lefty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so another buckshot model. Yep. Wrong way up though. Let's mm -hmm. go on. Let's see how good you are now, mate. It's not going to happen, I'm afraid. Cool. Some lefties coming in. Yeah, that looks weird. Yeah, feels feels very strange. I cannot do it. I cannot do it that Come way. Come see if you can play one chord. Play a C. Go on. No, don't oh, cop out with a C, you. wouldn't it? C four complicated. <laughs> okay. Another buckshot. Hey. Shot. I'm liking these. I'm starting to get yeah, a little start, more yeah, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do we actually get here? Yeah, they've all seemed to have had a little uh, little booklet with them yeah. and, a, and a pick and stuff in there, which is nice little touch. Well, the sun's come out for this one. Very nice. Again, direct mount tele pickup mm -hmm. with a uh, filter tron neck thing going on there which I should imagine is going to sound pretty uh, spanky in the middle there yeah especially if you roll that little bassy bassy knobage off <laughs> oh flat rock so I think this so it, yeah so double TBJ style So there's, wow, cool colour. It's like so a Gretsch orange. Something for everybody. Yeah, rock, rock orange. <laughs> Cockwork orange is still the best colour. Yeah, it is, yeah. For the Greg Cock model. Awesome. This is Jetstream 319, Oceanside Green. Okay. Here we go. Right, digging it. 
Well, this was, uh, in my limited experience of this brand, this is what I kind of knew them for, with their multi-pickup beasts. Yeah. That's gonna sound amazing. I'm, I know it is. Awesome, yeah. Wilkinson trim. Three P90s. I think that is a- uh, Five weight. Yeah, five weight switching. Interesting to see what they've done with the switching on this one as well, whether it is mm. just a straight Strat style switching or Nashville telly type thing. Okay. Nice. Very no. nice indeed. Yeah. Cool. I hope to see some more of these. Yep. Double agent W. Yeah, so the W means it has a Wilkinson trim. Ah, okay. I hope. I want to know what the OG meant back at the start. Yeah, so we've had one of these. Yeah, we've had the uh, the the non W versions. Of yeah, that so far, haven't we? Okay. Cool though. It's getting just lovely neck. Really liking the feel of that. Yeah, that's really what sets it apart, I think, from. Yeah. Other guitars at this price point is the uh, the final fit and finish. I guess like um, Duesenberg do a lot of the uh, you know I know a lot of the the work is done kind of in the Far East and then they do a lot of stuff in in Germany still. But I right. think you can really feel that it's got a USA custom shop type sort of feel to the neck. The fret, yeah. yeah, frets just feel lovely. East side S, so yeah. we're moving in a particular direction here, I'd yeah. imagine. So we've already had one of those already. Not in this finish, mind. So it's the official satin deep sea blue. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Here again, roasted neck, all the, all the uh, things you expect to see. Yeah, I really like this combination. I think that's going to be a... It's going to be a winner. Here's the old Tremolo. There we go. Oh. It's the last guitar. That was me channeling Greg Cock there with about was it? 5 percent of the energy. Yeah. So Buckshot Chronic Blue. Okay. So overall, are we sticking in the same kind of price category for all of these guitars, roughly speaking? Well, I think everything, let me just double check on the system here. That's very nice. Ribbon guitars, let me have a look on our system. Yeah, so every, everything that we've had in um, is all under a thousand pounds. The most expensive ones are the uh, the 12 strings 949, but pretty much everything floats around 729, 799, 879. All this stuff's going to be up on the website shortly. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get all the videos done as well. But I think it's a really good option for for perhaps people that are looking at maybe the uh, the lower end Fenders or mm. you know maybe some some of the more kind of retro Ibanez type sort of things as well. Yeah. Sort of fit in this sort well, of bracket. They, they kind of touch on and pay homage to several different brands here, don't they, with their different pickup mm. configurations and stuff. So if you want to experiment. Uh, they just look like really good, look solid cool. gigging guitars with the trems and yeah. the uh, locking tuners, the roasted necks again. I know I keep going on about that, but it is a really good feature and there's not many other guitar makers at this price point that are using the roasted woods. Yep. Yeah. So we'll get them all plugged awesome. in and uh, see what they sound like. But we've got loads more on order as well, especially the, uh, the Greg Cox signature model. Um, amongst others and we'll do some more unboxing and some more videos when, when they all arrive but um, I'd say yeah. yeah come in and check them out try and see them up close you know and see what we're talking about with this fret work on the guitars you know it's not just we're not just saying it because it's a new thing they really are you know straight out of the box yeah. we could even though Tom spends ages setting everything up before we send it out we could this is probably the first Asian made guitar that we've had come in that we've probably don't even have to touch but we yeah. still will anyway because the, you know the, the final checks and everything that we want to do before we send any guitar out but yeah they're pretty much ready to yeah gig. i'd be happy to take that out mm. so yeah Excellent. hope you enjoyed this little insight guys thanks for watching and stay tuned we'll be posting more content shortly thank you